Hey guys, how's it going? So, uh, looks like the Libs or the Coalition have a majority government. Oh dear. Now, I'm not going to say who I voted for because that's just not cool. But, um, the thing is, quite a bit of this, uh, I was wondering if there was going to be footage of people in the streets, you know, wailing and beating their chests and pulling their hair, just like what happened when Trump won, because again, I was, I was looking at the campaigning, and I was, I was unsure myself who was going to win, um, but I was looking at the campaigning style and what was going on, and I, I actually said to my friends, this is a whole lot like the Trump Hillary Clinton campaign where you know, the media was so sure about one side winning and you know it seems like a big shock to everyone when the other side does um, and from what I've seen from previous um, election campaigns then this kind of goes true to type because a lot of what um, was said on one side like on the Labor side was basically a, a losing campaign and I've seen it many times um, and there has been a switch and change in government and there has been a lot of um, you know, negative things that have been said uh, just being flooding the media and I don't know whether it's actually just uh, typical of the Australian uh, political climate but when I've noticed that when a lot of um, I don't know there's a lot of ads that are extremely negative and down on one side generally that side does a whole lot better than what people think because the other side is usually focusing more on we're going to build up we have a, a goal we have an aim we're doing something for you um, rather than you know these people are bad they're just evil and we're just better and you know, that's not just the liberals uh, but the Labour has done that too um, on either side and I've seen again times when Labour have won and they've run a winning campaign um, whereas be more focused um, and yeah <laughs> what can I say it, it was definitely interesting seeing which parties did and didn't get in poor Clive Palmer <laughs> I say that with not a little bit of irony poor Clive Palmer uh, not getting a seat at all and um, yeah but a new, new day, a new week, just going on um, to say, yep, picking yourself up. And realistically, not a lot is, is going to change. Not a lot will change. Um, a lot of people, I remember after, um, was it Trump got in, I was getting emails and messages and, and saw posts from people saying, oh my God, they're going to come to get me, I'm going to die, I'm in danger, I'm physically in danger. Uh, three years on, those people are still there, still complaining about Trump. I mean, I don't, I don't really like Trump, but there's no one that's been beating down their doors. They have been dragged off and killed and lynched in the street. In fact, they're the ones actually doing the dragging off and lynching people in the street. Uh, so it just goes to show. Um, and I think looking at some of the interviews that I've seen recently with the, uh, the Prime Minister talking about the quiet Australians, it's this your silent majority, your silent voters, they're the ones that you need to win over, not the, um, the loud, you know, five or ten percent of people. They go on about stuff. There's a lot of people out there that, you know, a lot of these people discount. And it's true. Like, have you seen the people that are setting up, like, you know, during the day, all these people here early in the morning? You wouldn't think so, you know. Um, I'm up early in the morning. I see a lot of these people setting up South Bank, doing the gardening, cleaning it, you know, cleaning the the streets you know just writing setting up things i'm um, serving you you know a lot of those people they work hard for a living they have a, they don't have a lot of time to worry about you know a, a lot of it seems it you know these are a concern but it also seems petty when you actually have the time to be able to worry about things and not just surviving from day to day it's like a lot of people will say that you know that accuse each other of being privileged and go yes but the fact that you can accuse somebody of being privileged means that you are privileged because you have something that someone else doesn't and you don't even know about it you have opportunities that you don't know about you have experience that people don't know about and instead of 
feeling or guilt, be grateful. Be grateful that you have these opportunities, that you have had them, and that you can use them to, you know, make other people's lives better. Like, bring them up, don't bring them down. You know, improve your local area. That's the thing with the environment as well, as I've found, is that you can make all sorts of policies at a high level, but it doesn't necessarily trickle down. If you make a ground swelling of people, like, you know, everyone having their own little veggie patches and all that sort of stuff, or um, everyone having their own rainwater tanks, not those little dodgy ones, but actual proper rainwater tanks and stuff like that, actual proper recycling. Um, you know, people refusing to buy things that have all this packaging. And there's a lot of people out there that, you know, say that they're greenies, and yet, you know, they, <laughs> they drive the oldest gas guzzling cars. They um, have never, you know, other than the basic recycling, they never really do that whole recycling thing. And it's just tragic. Um, never, never really thinking about what they can do in their day-to-day -day lives to improve everyone else and the planet as well. They, they only think globally and then they end up using, you know, Starbucks disposable coffee cups or something, you know. Anyway, first election dissection. Um, it was hairy there. I don't know good or bad, but it turns out we will have a continuation of a stable government that is liberal. It's called the Liberal Party, but they're actually kind of slightly conservative. But there are, they are left of a lot of other governments that are around, uh, I think including the US. Um, so don't conflate the Liberal and Labour Party um, with what your own Liberal Labour Party do, the conservatism left in other countries because they are, and they can be vastly different. Um, moving on, what does this mean for Australia? Well, we've already seen some interesting effects such as the stock market. Uh, you know, having a really good day. Uh, what, what this means for everything else, I don't know. Um, because the, the economy has been depressed for a long time. Australia never really actually, th actually went through a whole lot of the global financial crisis because about 80% of Australian businesses are small businesses. Um, your mom and pop family, they're not your big mega corps. Um, and they tend to have a, a good culture for you know, keeping it together, everyone's sort of saying, look, hey guys, you know, it's, it's, we're doing it tough. What do you guys want to do? And pulling together just like the Aussie way is supposed to be. Anyways, so what do you think and what are your thoughts on what happened in the election? Did you see it coming? <laughs> Could you have predicted it? Oh my God. I, I didn't predict it. I was, I was had my doubts about who or, who or what was going to win, um, what seats and, and everything. So, <sighs> Anyway, it is early and uh, yeah, still doing all rubber every day. It's getting cold, so good tip for, for guys who wear rubber every day. And you don't sleep in the rubber and then, you know, get out of it. Put your rubber in your bed with you <laughs> to warm it up. Or when you get up, quickly shove it in your bed to let it warm up before you put it on and, you know, do your shower and all that sort of other stuff before you, you get into the rubber. Okay. See you guys later. Bye.